hello everyone welcome to the video and in this video we are going to see how we can get live stock market data right within excel using chat gpt and excel's native ai capabilities so let's get started before we move forward in the video let me tell you that v10x has an exclusive workshop on ms office using chat gpt and other ai tools the link is in the description and we will talk more about it later in the video. Now let's get back to our topic. So I am here on the actual seat. Now I want to find some of the stocks and their latest data. How can I do that? Let me ask Chad GPT to give me some of the top Nifty 50 stock or S&P global stocks. Okay. So let me open Chad GPT and i will ask my question send it let's see what chat gpt replies to me okay it's generating the table for uh, three well known nifty 50 tickers and snp stock tickers so tickers is basically a representation a short representation of the uh, different companies that was listed in different markets so let me copy this and let me paste it here and I can click here and make it as text only. So now I have three Nifty 50 stocks and three S&P global stock. Now I don't really need in two columns so I will just put this here and this is my stocks okay so i will name it as tickers something like that make it bold okay now how can i get all the live details of these tickers so all i have to do is go to data and make sure you selected them all click on this stocks now we will see what is happening here now you see it has added some icons here and then it also you know from our tickers it also generated the name of the company and also provided us the sticker for example Tata consultancy services which is tcs has xnsc this is listed in the xnsc basically on nsc so it uh, marked at xnsc and then tcs similarly microsoft corporation it is as xnas and msft now here we see two question marks so that means the native ai capability of excel could not able to identify it clearly but as you can see it is giving us a suggestion in this pane from where we can select now i know that this is hdfc bank which is uh, this one so national stock exchange so I will click on select. So now it identified it. Similarly, Reliance, it is saying that do you want this? National Stock Exchange of India, Reliance Industry Limited. Yeah, I need the, this one only. So I will click here, select. Now you see, I got all the names of my stock along with their takers and with some ICO. So before we move forward in the topic, let me tell you that AI is not going to replace you but a person using AI will. So if you don't want to lag behind, then join the workshop to learn AI hacks in MS Office using ChatGPT and other AI tools. You don't need to have any prior knowledge for this and I'm pretty sure that you will become hyper efficient post this. So what are you waiting for? Join our workshop by clicking the link in the description below. Now let's get back to our topic. So basically this is kind of a data set, embedded data set and I can generate different fields that is related to these tickers from here. So how can I do that? Now you see this little symbol here, right? Now if I click that, you see, I can see a different field option for me, like 52 week high, 52 week low and so many other things related to the stocks. And let me remind you, these are all live data. So if you open the Excel tomorrow and you just refresh it, 
you will be getting the live data in your excel without going for any other external ai tool this is excel's native ai capability okay so let's see let me click on 52 week high so now you see here i am getting in rupees because it is indian stocks and here these are on us market so i am getting in dollars now this is 52 week high so i can also click here and then let's say 52 week low so you see i am getting 52 week low as well okay and see it is refreshing that green icon you saw that's basically refreshing okay now again i will click here and let's say i want beta i want change and i want currency something like that okay or something anything like this one volume also i can have so that's how i can generate okay now if i select everything and then if i you know click on anything what will happen you will see so if i select on industry so this is it cannot able to recognize because this is like uh, not a actual ticker or uh, sorry not a actual data field like these ones right so this won't work the one problem that we see here is that we are getting all the values but we are not getting any headers so to get the headers we have to manually type the names so for example if i select all of this and click here let's say i want to have a uh, maybe beta so if i click on beta so i am getting the beta value but i am not getting the headers so i have to manually do that so is there a way that we can you know automatically generate header as well well there is a way so what i will do is let me remove all of this and let me convert it as a table so the shortcut is control t so i will click on control t and then i want my table has a headers to be checked on because this is my header so i'll click on ok now this is now converted as a table now if i generate any data field related to these stickers you will see what happens so i will click here and let's say 52 week high and let's say again i want 52 week low i want beta and like this also i want change so you see how simply i am getting all the things that i need and along with the headers just how just because i converted it as a table right so i hope you understood it all and you may apply this in your daily work that's it for this video and i will see you next time please do like comment share the video and subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos also do check out our workshop link in the description We'll see you there. Thank you.